is the skinny. Writing a column is the only job ever handed to me on a silver platter. Charm is a sort of a bloom on a woman. If you have it, you don't need to have anything else. And if you don't have it, it doesn't much matter what else you do have. A sense of humor is the one essential of this life. You can be rich, powerful, famous, but without a bit of fun in your nature, you're something less than human. I could drive up and down telegraph poles as well as the next one. Still can. Hell on the highway harper, they call me. Joan Crawford has been a priestess at the Shrine of Success since she was a hoofer named Lucille Le Sir. She's been put to the sacrificial flame more than once, but has always risen like Lazarus and lived to burn another day. In my business, I get genius dished out to me as regularly as the morning mail. I live in a town that sells dreams, but is ruled by nightmares. Power in the movie business fell into the clutches of men who stopped at nothing to lay their hands on it. Two of the cruelest, most primitive punishments our town dealt out to those who fall from favor are the empty mailbox and the silent telephone. Hollywood is a combination of brains, bodies, and barnums. Our town worships success. The bitch goddess whose smile hides a taste for blood. Louis B. Mayer was a better actor than anyone he had under contract. At one time I thought he wanted to be an actor. He had certain qualifications, including no money and a total lack of responsibility. Most of the old-time professional producers are dead. Our town needs the likes of them the way a burning house needs firemen. Since our academy now makes it legal for commie writers to receive Oscars, some past winners, who are as bitter about this as I am, tell me they'll return theirs. Greta Garbo was the most exciting personality on the lot. Her name still seems to light a torch in the minds of everybody who hears it. To F. Scott Fitzgerald, it was the lost generation. To Hollywood, it was the golden twenties. Everything turned to money. Girls were plucked from the ribbon counter, the dairy lunch, from Hungary without their being able to speak a word of English. Small town clerks and Colorado boys were fitted into the Hollywood mold. The symbol of the mold was a golden cap. Luella and I have been offered a fistful of money to appear on radio and in pictures together. I always accept. She always declines. Marie Dressler said it best. You're only as good as your last picture. 